Hello boys and girls, this is your old friend RJ City, and this is the Hollywood Squared Circle where we talk about wrestling episodes of non-wrestling shows, and today we are talking about Harry and the Hendersons, season one, episode 16, entitled Harry and the Masked Wrestler. For those of you who don't know, Harry and the Hendersons, the TV show, is based on Harry and the Hendersons, the movie, and aired in syndication from 1991 to 1993, spanning three seasons and 72 episodes. It was, of course, about the Hendersons, an average family who adopts Harry, a literal Bigfoot. And oh, the hijinks that ensue. It starred Bruce Davison and Molly Cheek as George and Nancy Henderson, Carol Ann Plant and Zachary Bostrom as their kids Sarah and Ernie, and Harry's body was played by Kevin Peter Hall. His face was performed by N. Brock Winkless IV, and his voice was done by Patrick Pinney. This wrestling episode only stars one actual wrestler, but that wrestler is Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I would also be remiss if I did not mention that this episode is actually directed by Richard Klein, better known as Larry Dallas from Three's Company. Because who better? Anyway, here's what happens. The show opens with George, Ernie, and Harry all play wrestling in the living room. And of course, Harry is kicking the shit out of George because he's a fucking Bigfoot. And then for some reason, George is off to go shoot a commercial with Hacksaw Jim Duggan, who of course, Ernie is suddenly a longtime fan of. So George leaves and Nancy, Ernie, and Harry all decide to watch an actual videotape of Hacksaw Jim Duggan actually wrestling and they're all incredibly enthralled by this average squash match. Then Sarah bursts in the room and asks her mom if she can have a thousand dollars to help an injured sea lion. And her mother's like, no, what are you, out of your mind? And then George comes home and he's like, where is Ernie? I have a surprise for him. And that surprise is actually Hacksaw Jim Duggan wearing a burnt orange windbreaker and still carrying his two by four. So Ernie is in the other room and Hacksaw yells, Ho! Oh! And then Harry yells back, he's like, Rah! and Hacksaw's like, oh, what the fuck was that? Anyway, Ernie is really excited to meet Hacksaw, and Harry is hiding in the kitchen and daydreams a montage where Harry is wearing Hacksaw's gear and Hacksaw teaches Harry how to throw a two by four. Cut to the family having dinner with Hacksaw, and Hacksaw is wearing a spaghetti strap tank top that is so thin and so low that he has to tuck the napkin in on the sides. And then Ernie is like, Hacksaw, can you teach me your clothesline? So Hacksaw does, and Harry, still watching from the other room, gets so excited that he makes more noise, and Hacksaw is like, again, what the fuck was that? And then Hacksaw leaves because he's got to get some rest before the big commercial shoot tomorrow. So the next day, Nancy's like, hey, I have an idea. Pro wrestling is a great way to raise money, which it's not. So let's put on a show to raise money for that injured sea lion. Once again, pro wrestling is mistakenly used for good. So now they're at the commercial shoot, which conveniently is just a ring in the middle of a gym or a high school or some shit. Anyway, Hacksaw is doing this commercial where he endorses knee pads, which is actually a very smart tie-in. And the rest of the family is just there. So Hacksaw's like, what are you guys doing here? And they're like, oh, we're just looking for wrestlers for our charity wrestling show. And Hacksaw's like, great, why don't I do commentary? Because you know he's too smart to wrestle for free. So Nancy and Sarah are looking for wrestlers and they see this one guy jumping around the ring. So they're like, he must be a wrestler. So they go introduce themselves. His name is Mad Dog Depew, which I'm going to add to my list of fantastic unused names. And then in the most indie wrestling conversation ever they're like hey mad dog depew this gig doesn't pay anything and depew's like ah you know what then i'm out but then this other wrestler comes to the ring and he's like my name's phil and i'll do it for free and then depew gets mad at phil for offering to wrestle for free so he offers to wrestle him for free for charity but the next morning phil shows up at the henderson's house in a sling apparently he broke his elbow trying to open a bottle of aspirin he then demonstrates how he did it with the other arm and breaks that one too. Of course, suddenly there's now a spot for another wrestler, but who could fill in? Well, Hacksaw's not fucking doing it. George is like, I'll do it, which is so fucking stupid. So George and their neighbor are now wrestling on their lawn and George quickly gets injured. So everyone's like, yeah, we saw that coming. What do we do now? 
Well, what about Harry? No shit. They're like, we'll put him under a mask and no one will be able to tell it's him. So then they cut to the show, which is at the same building. And what really bothers me is Mad Dog DePew is already in the ring, sitting on a stool with a coach rubbing his shoulders. Like, surely Hacksaw could have said something. Anyway, his opponent is not here yet, so they're stalling. The crowd is getting restless, but Susan comes out and she's like, no, no, don't worry, his opponent's here. Here he is, Bigfoot Man. Because he can't be an actual Bigfoot if they say he's a man, so people just assume he's a man playing a Bigfoot, which he actually is in real life, but not for the purposes of this program. So they start the match and Depew charges at Harry, but Harry casually steps out of the way just to go say hi to Hacksaw. Who knew Harry was a comedy wrestler? And then Harry sidesteps him again just to play to the crowd. So Mad Dog Depew is even madder now. Depew calls Harry a wussy, and the crowd immediately boos and starts throwing garbage. And Hacksaw's on commentary like, I, I don't understand what is up with this guy. And then a guy in the crowd yells out, either start wrestling or I demand a refund. And if that happens, that sea line is getting none of that money. So George steps into the ring to try to talk to Harry to get him to wrestle, but Mad Dog Depew's like, fuck this guy. So Mad Dog Depew grabs George and throws him in the ropes and gives him a tackle. Well, now Harry is pissed and Mad Dog Depew is in trouble. So Harry's like, all right, we're, we're gonna do this. And everyone's very excited. They're all on the edge of their seats. The tension is mounting, the excitement is building. They both charge each other and they cut to stock footage of two trains colliding. Richard Klein, what the fuck are you doing? When they cut back, Harry is standing there with Depew's legs just sticking out of the mat. I guess the implication is that Harry drove Mad Dog Depew's head and entire upper body straight through the canvas. So Hacksaw announces Harry is the winner and Harry raises his arm and everybody cheers. And then Hacksaw gets in the ring and says, but the real winner is Milton the Sea Lion who really scammed everybody into paying for a one-move wrestling show where we didn't even actually get to see the move. Well, that was the wrestling episode of Harry and the Hendersons. This has been the Hollywood Squared Circle, and I've completely wasted your time.